I'm Dr. George with Jumpstart Jazz Guitar, helping you make better music. Today, we're going to take a look at some versatile chords that every guitar player should know. There's a free PDF in the description down below that you can download with the chords and the rhythms that we're going to be talking about today. And also, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So the, the chords we're going to be playing are usually associated with Freddie Green. Freddie Green was Count Basie's guitarist for 50 years. And he was well known for, basically, he played rhythm guitar. And the voicings that we're going to be looking at are called shell voicings. And shell voicings, you may, as you may know, um, are the essence of a chord. Okay? They'll have the root, the third, and the seventh. And that will define the chord sound. Now, sometimes the seventh is replaced with the sixth, and other times the third is replaced with a fourth, depending on the chord symbol. But it's just simply going to be three notes. Now, you'll notice that also I'm playing this on an acoustic instrument. Now, there is a pickup on this, but, um, but it's attached to the neck, so this is really a true acoustic. And that's because Freddie also played an acoustic. He never plugged in. Um, his, his setup was pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, he had really high action and used really heavy strings so that he could power through and so that he could actually be felt anyway when that big band was kicking it. Um, now, shell voicings are, are really useful. But in a big band, you don't really want to play the bass notes because the bass player is going to be often walking or playing some other notes, and you can kind of get in the way. So to stay out of the way, Freddie would often play just two-note voicing. Okay. And at times, he said he would even play just single note. Whatever he thought made the band sound better. Now, the rhythm that he was using, you probably noticed I'm playing quarter notes all the way through, but they're not quite quarter notes because they're detached. And the way we do that is by pulsing in between each one. And we want to make them just about as long as we can possibly make it, but still have them slightly detached. The other thing that needs to happen is that we need to accent two and four a little bit. So now I'm overdoing it. The easiest way to do that is to reverse your picking pattern. Go up, up, down, up, down. And then the natural accent of the downstroke will happen. Okay, and that'll work also on the two note voicing. And after a little while, it's quite easy to play this pretty fast. The other rhythmic pattern that Freddie used was long short. And we'd use that mainly for ballads, so something like this. Now, I use these chords all the time, and I don't limit myself to Freddie's rhythm because I'm not playing in a big band too often. And so these can be very percussive. And you can also see that it's really easy to do approach chords. And those are just simply chords that are a half step away from the chord that you're actually playing, so. Okay. And they can either be neighbor figures like that, or they can be approach figures, where you're moving to the new chords by a half step as well. Now, these work with all sorts of rhythms too. Now they'll work with Latin chords. And the reason I use them an awful lot is because I'm often playing with just a singer or a soloist. And if I'm playing down here, the soloist is going to be up in this range where my top two strings. And so I like to stay out of their way. 
gives them a lot more freedom to do. Also, I'm not adding in color tones to the 9ths, 11ths, and 13ths that could restrict what they're playing or clash with what they're playing. Um, now, when I'm playing with a pianist, the other thing I'll often do, I'll often just get rid of the, the bass note too, and I'll go to those two note chords too. And again, you play something very, you can play very rhythmically. That can add something really nicely to the, to the groove. So, while these seem like they're quite simple chords, they're chords that you really want to become familiar with because they're going to be the basis for all of, a lot of the other chords that we learn. When you take a third and seventh, we can then add notes on the top two strings. And what we have is a drop two voicing. And we can add different colors. But all of them based on that third and seventh, so you know where those are. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below and tell a friend about the cat channel too.